In this video I'm going to talk through the proposal for our World War II RAF base conversion to show how we are reusing the existing buildings to create our future home and a home for Hazel, my mum-in-law, Richard's mum. So this is a fly past the existing decontamination unit which will be our future home. We have to retain the existing building as part of the planning application and so the proposal is designed to reuse all of the original brick and concrete structure. And here's the proposal. We've designed two bedrooms accessed across a sunken courtyard and we've added a floating box that will contain a lounge and master bedroom capturing views through the woodland and across the landscape. Uh, the rooftop terrace will be accessed through the existing water tower, creating an ideal place to chill out. The original building will contain the kitchen, living, dining spaces and uh, will have minimal windows, primarily two large openings creating a view right through the building and across the landscape. The original openings will form the entrances to our homes, retaining that readability of the original structure. The standby set house will be converted into a house for Hazel. This was originally the building that would have housed the backup oil fire generators for the site and would have been used to provide power to the site in the case of an emergency. So with the standby set house we're going to reuse the existing brick structure to create the main living spaces, punching through the original brickwork to create access and vistas to the landscape. There will also be an entrance gallery, a double height dining area, glass walkway connecting the upstairs bedrooms. The two storey extension will be connected by a glass connection and the two storey extension itself will contain the kitchen, utility and master bedroom looking out into the landscape. Much of the original ash and sycamore woodland is being retained and added to to create a even more beautiful habitat for us to live in and you can see in this aerial view the original buildings and also the existing roads that were constructed as part of the RAF communal site and the proposed buildings will be located in the place of original structures retaining that historic reference to the site which we think is a very important factor to this project. Our studio and workshop building will be located on the original site of the Sergeant's Mess. This building will contain our creative workshop, office and car restoration garage. The external finish for all existing structures will be a coloured render as it would have been originally. Uh, the new additions to the site will be clad with a contrasting but complementary low maintenance metal cladding. One important aspect to us is that we retain the readability of the old and new so that the original structures on site are clearly legible in the future. So the extensions and new structures will be prefabricated in timber frame by a company nearby. The timber is sourced from a sustainable plantation and is also very energy efficient in terms of a building material. We are also super insulating the existing and proposed structures, reducing the need for uh, energy, um, but we'll talk more about that in a later episode. Surrounding the site is wonderful Lincolnshire farmland and older woodland owned by the nearby manor. The original reserve water store still exists on the site and we're hoping to restore that as part of our landscape design. At the centre of the proposal is a garage and gym building, which you will have seen in one of the earlier fly-throughs. The single storey building will contain storage for cars, a guest suite, pool house and gym. And the concept is that you're going to be able to like swim and see the beautiful cars through an internal glass wall and also see the beautiful landscape and sunset. So I hope you've enjoyed the brief overview of the proposal and we'll be following up shortly with more in-depth explanation of the design and the interiors, the materials and the construction. Thanks for watching and see you soon.